Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Good news, Lydia's feeling better. She's still a bit stressed. We've got some more doctor visits to take care of, but at this point, I'm happy to say that we're doing much better. You ever bought something and not had it quite right when you got it? Well, I do that all the time. That's what I actually look for. I look for something that's a little bit off the beam, kind of old and rusty and been treated badly and needs some work. Well, this red vise, which you've seen in previous videos, is a four inch and it's marked number 5177. Now, I can't tell you who made it because there's no name that I can find on the thing. It says Japan 8F, nothing else. But I looked at it and the screw is in good shape. The bar is not bent, but it's missing the locking pin, the, the piece that keeps the base from spinning. I thought, well, that's something I probably could come up with. So here's what I'm doing. I took a carriage bolt and ground off the edge so that it would slip in there and not rub against the casting. Carriage bolts have four flats on them. That means that it goes into that groove in the swivel base and doesn't spin. Carriage bolts have this feature where they have four flats on them and they were designed to go into a piece of wood and have just a nice round head showing and the nut would be on the inside of whatever you were working on. That The four flats are so that it goes into the wood and catches and doesn't spin when you tighten up the nut. Well, that lets it catch in that track there and not spin. But once you once you loosen up the nut, you can spin the base around quite easily. And this is a 3 8 coupling nut. I bought them at Tractor Supply. When you buy these at Tractor Supply, you buy them at bulk. And they're three dollars and nineteen cents a pound. Since I only had a quarter pound of them, my total cost was eighty-five cents. And for that, I got four carriage bolts and two of these coupling nuts. Now I don't want to have this coupling nut sticking up that high. I don't think it looks good. I think it detracts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the lathe and cut it in half. Right down through the middle. I'm not a big fan of the bar through the handle. They bend they're kind of hard to work with. I'm just not really thrilled with them. Now the lathe unplugged. I'm going to cut this off.
with just a little bit of work, it's no longer a $5 vise. It's a four inch vise, number 5177, that works. With just a little bit of elbow grease, this is no longer a $5 vise. It's a four inch vise with all the parts and pieces working, worth a lot more than I paid for it. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.